Hello! Welcome back! Uh, we found a party. Oh no! Oh, she's fine! Oh no, she's not fine. Oh my god, I almost died. That was lit. Um. Damn, I'm kind of sad. Oh, I got accommodation. Nice. Uh, that's kind of sad. I didn't get any of the weapon drops. <laughs> oh well, that's fine with me. Um. All right, we need to talk to uh, Mephilia, because finally, we're done. 
With those dungeons, Jesus. Alright, let's... Let's go do that. I have a pack of... I, I have a container of yogurt right here, and I really want to eat it. <laughs> but you know, I'm recording, and I have to be professional. But did that ever stop me from eating before? No, so if you hear any eating sounds, that's me. Again, because, listen. I choose comfort over appearance. So, I mean, whatever. Like, if you're hungry, eat. Okay? Like, don't... Don't, don't, don't do bullshit. Oh god. Maybe I should have left the yogurt to, like, cool a little bit more. Because, like, it's still kind of, like... It's cool, but it's not, like, cold. I would have preferred cold yogurt, but whatever. Now, what yogurt am I eating, you ask? It's, uh, Activia. Strawberry flavored. I am most eager to address the ASEAN threat, however, we dare not neglect our other pressing concerns. Mm -hmm. We both know full well that St. Shiva will not be the last primal we face, and our relationship with Ishgard is still tenuous at best. To think that the resolution of the primal threat was once the sole priority of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Some days I wonder if it was wise for us to take on so many other responsibilities. Lest you forget, Antecedent, the Scions need not shoulder the burden alone. Were not the Crystal Braves established for this very reason? Hey, Alphano. True, we are presented with a multitude of problems. However, we have all the resources we need to address them in turn. Atelios, in particular, is ever a steadying hand, who I trust will continue to support the Braves. Of course, that's not even a question. To what do we owe the pleasure? Has there ever has there been further developments regarding to the situation in Ulda? As expected, the Immortal Flames have been struggling to cope with the revelation that one of their highest ranking officers was a Garlean agent. Suffice it to say, Tleji Alegi and his monetarists ilk have wasted no time in attempting to turn the situation to their advantage. Coupled with ongoing unrest, the Flames are finding themselves hard-pressed. Plainly, General Roban needs our help, and I would direct the Crystal Braves to offer what support they can. If I am to stay abreast of the latest developments and issue effective orders, however, I cannot afford to waste time traveling back and forth. And so, for the foreseeable future, I think it'd be best if I were to remain in Ulda, unless you have an objection. None whatsoever. We have matters here well in hand. Mo and Brita's, uh, research is proceeding as planned. So she tells me, though I am not familiar with the details. Urianje is poring over his tomes at the Waking Sands, and the others are contribu uh, contributing in their own ways. Alas, the key problem, how to form an ethereal blade at will, remains unsolved. Nevertheless, it is only a matter of time. Atelius, while we focus on the task, mayhap you could assist Alphino and his braves with theirs? It would do much to restore faith in the immortal flames if the Warrior of Light was seen working on their behalf. Never forget that your esteemed status allows you to act in ways that those more tightly bound to organizations and nations cannot. As ever, I implore you to do so. Mm -hmm. Not that your response was ever in doubt, but I humbly thank you once more for aiding our cause. Yeah. Now then, there are preparations I must attend to before my departure, such as receiving Riol's latest report. He has proven to be quite skilled at gathering information others wish ke uh, kept secret. Hence why I placed him under my direct command Oops, sorry uh, Direct command and ordered him to investigate the olden riots When you're finished here, join me outside Depending on what he has to say, I may soon have a favor to ask Alright If there are any developments on our front, I shall inform you at once in the usual fashion Coolio Real. Mm 
pleasure as always, Atelios. You'll be escorting the commander to Ulda, I take it. Actually, I had another task in mind for him. If you would be so present, uh, or sorry, if you'd be so kind as to repeat your order for his benefit. Right then. Me and mine have been making in uh, inquiries into the source of the weapons that found their ways into refugee hands a ways back, alright? So happens we caught wind of something promising. A rather large purchase of sharp and pointy things by a black marketeer holed up near Highbridge. Mm -hmm. I doubt that this man would have secured such a quantity of weapons if he had not already ha uh, sorry, if he did not already have clients waiting. Clients that, for whatever reason, would prefer this transaction to remain secret. Brings to mind that merchants uh, brings to mind that merchant what caught an arrow while talking to Atelios, don't it? Generous fellow he was, doling out swords and spears to the dawn, uh, downtrodden and disgruntled. Which isn't to say that these clients have the same mischief in mind. But if you want to be sure, it might be prudent to intervene before they collect their goods. Savvy? Seizing the weapons before they fall into the wrong hands would be for the best. However, if we strike at the appointed hour, we, we might capture the black marketeer as well as his clients. What say you, Atelios? Then it is settled. Rendezvous with Captain Ilbert at Highbridge and intervene when the exchange takes place. Now then, if you would excuse me, I must leave for Ulda. I expect good tidings. Be safe, Alphano. Take care. Highbridge, that is in Ulda. Or sorry, Thanalyn, so we're just gonna teleport. Because I'm lazy. Also, I want to eat my yogurt, so... I wish I was level 52 already, so I can do the next quest. Sadly, I'm not, though. Ah, Telios, my scouts have been keeping a close eye on the Black Marketeer, and it would seem that his guests have arrived. It would also seem that he has hired more than a few men to stand guard. Common thugs of no consequence, but they nevertheless pose a threat. Even so, I feel, er, sorry, I feel compelled to apologize. This is far beneath a man of your standing, and Commander Levier needn't have dispatched you hither. No, don't worry about it. I do this on my own free will, dude. Like, I want to help. But powerful men ever have need of loyal, able-bodied friends. Having found one in you, it's only natural that he would come to rely upon you without hesitation. Now then, we should make for the burning wall without delay and secure those weapons. The first unit will ensure that the clients do not escape. With me, Atelios. It is. Burning wall. Hey, it's Kazakh Cha. I 
by one man, uh, the one man, but there are sure to be others. I have a plan. While you approach the sentry and create a distraction, my men and I will slip past to catch the black marketeer unawares. Once you have disposed of the thugs, wait for us outside the tunnel entrance. Any questions? Then let us be off. Good luck, my friend. goes there? An adventurer? Damn fool, you should have never come here. Okay. It's fine. Oops. I didn't mean cancel, but whatever. Figure it out though. Yep. I don't understand. W what's this all about? Oh. What is happening? Is somebody getting murdered? Hello? As you can see, this is a fine mess. When I tried to restrain him, he drew a hidden blade and lashed out. But before I could disarm him, one of my subordinates panicked, and this is the result. How foolish of me to underestimate the bastard, and to bring an, unex to bring an inexperienced recruit. Commander Levier will be most disappointed. Damn it all, a golden opportunity wasted. As for the clients, though we know not how, they slip past our perimeter. At present, the first is currently tracking a party of dusk white cell swords. Uh, we suspect maybe them. With that, we could have enlisted the aid of the Immortal Flames or the Brass Blades. Alas, we're here to aid them. They're in no position to aid us. Well, at the very least, we have secured the weapons. Yet, even that accomplishment is lacking, for the information we received indicated a massive shipment. And this is anything but. I will join the first in their hunt for the dusk white cell swords. If the gods are good, we will catch them before they escape into the black shroud. In the meantime, I ask you to deliver these weapons to Ulda in my stead. Entrust them to the third's Yu Yu Hase. He will take care of the rest. Um. Alright. Okay. Ulda. See located weaver skill.
There he is. Ah, the Warrior of Light, ever reliable friend to the Crystal Braves. You have my deepest thanks for your assistance in Corthus. Now, what brings you to us this day? A gift of weapons from a certain black marketeer, courtesy of Captain Ilbert, do you say? Understood. Once we've cataloged the contents, I'll have them delivered to the Hall of Flames. This cannot be everything, can it? Riol stated with confidence that there would be a far, uh, would be a far greater quantity of weapons. A blatant falsehood. Clearly, Riol is unfamiliar with the ways of olden merchants. Whoever strives to represent themselves as greater than they are. We should be thankful that his information was not completely erroneous, and that we managed to achieve anything of worth at all. It's still something worth celebrating, isn't it, Lieutenant? Besides, we've got more important things to worry about, like fighting those Garliums up, up north. There'll be no fighting if I, if I have anything to say about it. Our orders are to stand watch, not, not to seek glory in battle. If you have no further need of us, I shall take my unit to the Cerulean Processing Plant. Time for the fourth to earn their keep, eh? Fight well, Eileen, for the freedom of all. Excellent work as always, my friend. Rest assured that the immortal flames will hear of your contribution. Until we meet again. Take care. Atelios, a word if it please you. What's up, Riel? Not here. Look for me at the Sapphire Avenue Exchange. No need for whistling this time. Don't you worry. Hmm. Thanks for indulging my request. Few places better than a market for privacy, I find. All the hustle and bustle of commerce means most conversations go unnoticed. I'll get to the point. At the burning wall, when you and the captain interrupted the exchange, what happened? Tell me everything, leave no detail out. Hmm. That's not quite how the first told it. These dusk whites they were chasing. Latest word is that we've lost the trail. But you never saw him yourself? Not before the fighting started, and not after? Something ain't right. I don't know what it is, but I can feel it in my bones. I'm not daft enough to be misled by some merchant's drunken boasts. Our information was reliable, goddammit. I know he purchased those weapons. <laughs> As if I've never deciphered a moneylander's book, a lender's books, or had to follow a transaction back to its source. Did plenty of that back when the Braves were getting started. Believe me, the commander wanted assurances that we weren't taking guilt from the wrong sort of benefactors. Of course, these days, the money flows like water, and the first and third get the shiniest new toys. Forgive me, friend. I have a lot on my mind these days, and I appreciate you lending an ear. Right then, let's best get back to it. Atelius, can you hear me? This is Tataru. Your presence is urgently requested at the Rising Stones. Please come and see me as soon as you're able. Alright. Honestly though, yeah, like, Riol has a point. Hmm. Something's off. Something's off. And I don't like it. 
Not one bit. There's Tataru. Hey there. Thank you for coming so quickly, Atelios. We have a guest from Ishgard who wishes to speak with you. A most, um, determined lady, by all indications. Huh? Our guest is with the Anaceta in the solar at present. Let's not keep them waiting any longer, shall we? Um. Uh, uh, who? Who's this guest? Oh! Lucia! I was like, who? We have a guest from Ishgard who wishes to speak with you. I believe the two of you have met. Yep. We have. I had hoped to speak with Commander Leveilleur as well, but I cannot afford to wait any longer. The Lord Commander sent me hither to request your aid in a matter of grave import. You see now why I had Tataru summon you. Hmm. Now that we're all assembled, perhaps you would be good enough to elaborate on the nature of the matter which brought you to us. The Observatorium's astrologians have sounded the alarm. Last night, the dragon star burned with an intensity not seen in 15 summers. Oh, jeez. Not since the Dravanians engaged the Empire in the Battle of Silvatir Skies. Hmm. The northern sky doth burn full bright upon the Worm Lord's call. The red behemoth beckoneth, and flame consumeth all. The old Curthen rhyme, aye. The brightening of the dragon's star is said to accompany the roar of a great worm. The astrologians believe that it was Midgard Soma himself who cried out on this occasion. After an absence of centuries, the King of Kings did return to lead his kind against the might of Garlemald, only to fall in his duel with the Agrius, proud flagship of the Galian fleet. Devoid of life, his corpse remaineth entwined about the Magitek monstrosity, even unto this day. Ariange has the right of it. Whatever this alteration in the Dragon Star portends, the Great Worm has shown no sign of life. Tataru, have the Domans reported aught out of the ordinary? Correct me if I'm wrong, but if Midgard Zoma had roared, wouldn't we have heard it here in Revenant's Toll? Roar is but a figure of speech. Dravanians can communicate in ways beyond our ken. It is for this very reason that we are forced to look for signs in the heavens. We cannot say with any confidence that a great worm roared at all, much less that it was Midgard Zoma. Only by directly examining the Keeper of the Lake can we be certain. However, it will take too long to gain the Holy See's approval to dispatch the Temple Knights. Therefore, Sir Emric would entrust this task to you. Do you accept? We knew you would not disappoint us. Now if you would excuse me, I must return and assist the Lord Commander. We have precious little time to prepare. To prepare for what, pray tell? When a great worm roars, his brethren cannot choose but answer. We prepare for battle. Forgive me if I say aught which you already know, but I would ensure that you understand the nature of your destination. Yep. As Uriange stated, what we now call the Keeper of the Lake is the wreckage of the Agrius, former flagship of the Imperial fleet, and the corpse of a, the worm responsible for its destruction. 
Fifteen years ago, as the next step in his campaign to subjugate Eorzea, Gaius von Balsir attempted to seize control of Mordona. So massive was his force that all thought was uh, all thought his victory was a uh, all his uh, all thought his victory a foregone foregone conclusion. But an unlikely ally came to Eorzea's aid that day. Midgard Zomer, legendary guardian of the Silvertier Falls, burst forth from beneath the waters of the lake and led a host of dragons against the Garlean airships overhead. In what would later become known as the Battle of Silvertier Skies, the, sky, uh, the Great White Worm felled countless airships before engaging the Agrius. In the ensuing struggle, the flagship's Aurelium engines failed and it tumbled into the lake below. Yet this victory came at a great cost, for the explosion which followed claimed the life of the Great Worm as well. That same explosion transformed Silvertier Falls into the desolate wasteland it is today, draining the lake of its water and crystallizing Aether from malms around. Yet a remnant of the lake remains, and at its center a constant reminder of that fateful day long ago. In accordance to Sir Amric's wishes, our Doman allies have been standing watch over the Keeper of the Lake. It would be wise to speak with them before investigating the wreckage yourself. Be careful, my friend. We know not what dangers await you within. Now then, let us not neglect our own tasks. There is much to be done and precious little time to do it. Alright. I'm going to pause the recording right here for a bit, and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Had to grab some stuff from outside. So let's go uh, talk to the Doman. Doman. Also, I should repair my gear. Do we have a- do we have a mender? Do we? Or do we not? anymore no we don't sucks oh well I think I, I think I can do that outside and if not then I'll really quickly like TP to a place that I can Do we have a mender? You're in luck, sir. I was about to send word to Revenant's Toll about the Garleans. Of late, I've seen small airships, likely from Castrum Sentry, come and go from the Keeper of the Lake. Though I cannot say for certain at this distance, I believe they may be salvaging something from within the wreckage. The Castrum supply lines have been cut for some time, and I'd wager they're de in desperate need of spare parts and other equipment. So, it's true then. The Ishgardians honestly fear that the worm might rise again. Well, from here, that seems rather unlikely, but if assurance, but if it's assurances they want, you've no choice but to inspect the corpse in its entirety. Easier said than done, given the creatures which inhabit the wreckage and the aforementioned Garleans who won't take kindly to your presence. They're sure to fire upon an airship, so I'd advise a more stealthy approach. Take this boat and a few comrades to the base of the Agrius, then climb to the top. That's the only viable approach, I'd say. Awesome! Alright, let's 
queue up. Where is it? Alright. Oh, it's a oh it, it's no full party. Okay. Cool. Um alright, I'll catch you guys when we find a party. See ya. All right, we found a party. Maybe if this other DPS would like to accept, that'd be lovely. Please don't withdraw. Oh, please don't. Heck yeah. I'm always gonna skip the beginning cutscene because <laughs> We've executed her! I found them! Oh, we got a dancer. Awesome. boss let's do this
gonna skip this cutscene real quick. Oh, I got two player comms. Nice. By her gifts hast thou earned a moment's reprieve. Oh, that shit's alive. What the fuck? Speak, mortal. And I shall listen. They told me you were dead. This is the opposite of dead. This is very much alive. At least your soul is alive. Guided by a star. <laughs> My people have heard the song. 
Ishgard shall burn. Sons must answer for their father's misdeeds. We do not forget. We do not forgive. Seven children did I sire. One now singeth of retribution. I rise to join in the chorus. Thou art powerless to silence us, mortal. Yet thou shalt not live to labor in vain. Thy reprieve is at an end. Is thy shield. This frail, noble creature is not gifted, but chosen. Hearken to me, Hydalin. I remember, and I consent. Fear. Oh, this is familiar. And ow, what the fuck? Mikarsomer, you said you wouldn't harm us. What? Wait, what? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Mikarsomer. What? What are you. What? The, the crystals. What? What have you done? What have you done, Migar Somer? <laughs> Mayhap thou thinkest me an oath breaker. Thou art mistaken if thou comest to harm. It shall be by another's hand, not mine. I did but strip thee of thy mistress's feeble blessing. Thou didst profit much by her grace, but no. Oh my god. The covenant binds me to thee. I shall watch, listen, and Fight and struggle, if it be thy will. Man hath ever coveted that which lieth beyond his grasp. I drink of her body, and thence of mine own. Find new life when it hath grown 
the loyal and penitent shall rejoice. The dragon song heraldeth a beginning and an end. Oh yeah, we can summon Migar somewhere now, hold on. Where is he? <laughs> yeah, he assures you his current form is only temporary. Sorry, Nanamo. Heck yeah. Hey. Hell yeah. I was beginning to fear the worst. Were those explosions I saw? Ah, but you shouldn't waste time talking with me. Alphino left a message stating that you were to return to the Rising Stones at once. Before I do that, I want to check if I got... A new one? Oh, I got Icebreaker. Cool. Oh boy, I don't like that. Migar Somer, what did you do? Hey. No. Stop. Let's go, Migar Sober. Praise the Twelve that you are hale and whole. I came as soon as Mephilia informed me of Sir Amric's request. You have completed your investigation of the Keeper of the Lake, I take it? Then I would hear your report. Oh, you would not believe what I found there! You would not believe what happened to me! You conversed with Midgard, Somer. I swear, were anyone else to make such a claim, I would regard it with considerable spec- uh, spec- uh, skeptic- skeptic- oh my god. Skepticism. Skepticism. I'm fucking dying. Are we to understand that the Wormlord did not perish and has in sooth lain dormant these past 15 years? Less a resurrection and more rejuvenation for he who dwelleth in eternity, years passing as moments. If you want proof, I have Megar Somer with me. He's a little tiny boy now. Though his words were ambiguous at the time, one statement left little room for interpretation. My people have heard the song, Ishgard shall burn. Clearly an attack is imminent. We must share this information with Sir Amric immediately. However, we dare not divulge your conversation with Midgard Somer in its entirety. Oh yeah, definitely. If we tell him, like, I spoke with a dragon, he's gonna be like... Heretic? <laughs> People are going to be like, heretic. I'm not sure. Uh, so anyway, it probably wouldn't be like, oh my god, you're a heretic. But a lot of people would. To even acknowledge that you heard a voice of a Dravanian is a grave but necessary risk. Lest we forget, men have been executed as heretics for declaring as much. Yeah. For your own protection and for the sake of our tenuous relations with Ishgard, the truth cannot leave this room. As for how we shall present our revelation to Sir Amric's emissary, you may leave that to me. Pray remain here for now. Alright?
Is there something you are not telling us, Atelios? Oh no. Mithili, I don't know how to tell you. You seem different somehow. It's almost as if you were missing something. Something important. Twelve for Fend! Midgar Soma stripped you of the blessing of light? Are you alright? How do you feel? I I don't know. I feel okay, but... I see. It is a relief to hear that you are otherwise unharmed. It beggars belief that any co being could possess the power to deprive you of her blessing. Hmm. Midgar Soma made mention of a covenant, did he not? One of the ancient myths regarding Silvertear Falls states that when the waters came into existence, so did the Great Worm. Althic and Nimia, brother Time and sister Fate, decreed that Midgard Somer ever watch over the source from which all water and magic was said to flow. I wonder, what if this cov was a covenant of which he spoke, and twas not the gods with whom he treated, uh, but Hydaelyn herself? Well, if he is watching over you as he claimed, mayhap you will have an opportunity to ask. Let us keep this matter to ourselves. I do not wish to burden our friends needlessly. Oh, now you show yourself. Art thou a pawn or master of thy fate? What hast thou wrought by thine own hands, mortal? Don't come out here and just throw me questions like that. But he has some truth. Like, yeah. Are we a pawn or are we the master of our own fate? My friend, I can scarce believe it. You confronted the Worm Lord and lived to tell the tale. I give thanks to Helone for your preservation. It is our sole cause for gladness. Your encounter with the Keeper of the Lake served to confirm our fears. A great worm has roared, and it makes little difference if it was one of the two in Eorzea, or any other. The Dravanians are coming. I am told that Ishgard has magical defenses against Dravanian attack, though I am not privy to their exact nature. Will they be enough to repel a massive force? Ishgard has weathered countless assaults over centuries. This will be no different. And now that you have confirmed the threat, none can ignore the Lord Commander's calls for the Wards to be strengthened. I dare not presume to speak for him, but I expect the Lord Commander would sing your praises. I must away, but we shall meet again soon. Countless assaults weathered, and this will be no different? Why am I not convinced? Well, that's where we're gonna end this episode. Oh wow, a lot of stuff has happened. A lot of bad things, maybe, but um, regardless. Oh boy. So, well, how does it stop protecting us anymore, apparently? Um, oh, that's gonna be dangerous. So, um, now I can't risk my life doing dumb shit again. Oh well, maybe this is for the better, but I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, be safe.